I'd like to ask you, how is the pandemic affecting your life outside the hospital? To be honest, it is stressful for everybody, for myself and my family. It's, it's like you're at war. Your family is more understand that during war time, certain people will be at the war front. How many days have you gone without meeting your family? During the first, pand I mean, first phase of a wave of the pandemic, it was like I was totally put up for the first six, seven months. But during the second wave, of course, there, there are a lot of things. My engagement now changed. My role and engagement changed to some extent. So I'm able to see them often. Do you get enough sleep? Big question. Personally, it may be difficult to say that. Uh, is, uh, is the wages commensurate to the level of committed what you put in? I can tell you, and I have to say frankly, the compensations the government is giving to healthcare workers is abysmally poor. It's regrettably, it's, it's as if they, they are, they, it's, it's, they, that's where the level of hearing for these people risking their lives have been totally, totally neglected. I mean, I can say the level is just extremely poor. It's the same country that's telling it has the largest you know, economy in Africa cannot, should not in any way pay less to those, I mean, than those countries that do not have the same economy like you. Tell what is it? If you have the largest economy that is not translating into well being of your citizens, something's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's on record that we lost so many patients, I mean, so many colleagues, daughters died, even here in FCC, in the course of days. How much of compensation? A lot of people are living. People are living for a senior country who understand why the welfare of healthcare workers are paramount. Do people still believe that uh, this, this virus does not exist as in COVID-19? That's, that's a question. Yes, I would say yes. Some ignorant people ignorantly are still denying you know, that they don't uh, want to uh, deny that uh, the virus does not exist. And that's to me, it is there it's as a result of so many factors. Mm -hmm. One of the first ones is that some do not even believe their government. So whatever government is telling them, because of the social media things and this, possibly that's responsible. In so many groups, I we call it not helping the matter. You know, the, the faith-based organizations are coming to talk about the issue of burial goods or this and using that to confuse a lot of people. So you know, information that they are private to seem to pollute the reality, the scientific basis of what they are doing. One of the first remarks they usually make is, God forbid, it's not my portion and all that, yes. It's nobody's portion to have heart failure. It's nobody's portion to have uh, cancer, you understand? This is even uh, easily acquired than all those ones, you understand? This is where in a pandemic, it's an infectious disease. Anybody can get it. You understand? If we want the numbers to be more realistic, then we will now have to do, employ what I said about mandatory testing in areas that tend to be high risk, you know, marketplaces and all those things. How many marketplaces have they come to ever say, okay, come all of you, you see? So everybody is doing what? Coming to the hospitals to get tested. If you don't come to the hospital, you will not get tested. It's like we're being spoon-fed, you know? We're being spoon-fed. We wait to see what is going on in the world, and then whatever gets to us, that is what we do, and that is what we carry on with. Our research area is really very underfunded, if at all it is funded. I don't feel very safe at all. Yeah, I don't feel very safe at all. We are lucky this pandemic, I mean, in, 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 we have not recorded so much death like in Europe and America and other parts. Another one may suddenly come and it could just be for Africa. They must engage, you know, where many Nigerians, intelligent Nigerians to drive the air care, you know, deliveries in Nigeria. Thank you.